Dog by Babette Cole Dr. Dog by Babette Cole This is the Gumboil family and this is their dog. He is a doctor. Dr. Dog went to a conference in Brazil to give a talk about bone marrow. While he was away, Grandad and the Gumboil children got ill. We'd better get him back, said Ma Gumboil. So they sent a tele message to Brazil. And Dr. Dog came back. Tele message, we are all ill. Come home, love Gumboils. But Gumboil had been secretly smoking in the bicycle shed. He had a wicked cough. <coughs> it's not good to smoke, said Dr. Dog. These spongy things inside our chests are called lungs. They are our breathing machines. Smoking fills them up with dirty tar. Then they don't work properly, and so we cough. <coughs> Gertie Gumboil had not been wearing her raincoat and hat. She caught a cold and got a sore throat. The germs attacked her tonsils. She's got tonsillitis, said Dr. Dog. I will have to operate. So he took them out. Kev Gumboil was scratching his head like mad. He's got nits, said Dr. Dog. These are eggs laid by little insects called lice. This is one. They live in your hair. He plastered Kev's hair with smelly shampoo to kill the lice and Kev had to wear it all day at school. Never swap combs and brushes with anyone, said Dr. Dog. Baby Gumboil did not wash his hands after going to the toilet. Then he sucked his thumb. And he let other children stick their fingers up his nose. So he got a tummy ache. <coughs> He's caught worms, said Dr. Dog. They are breeding in his tubes. The worms wriggle inside you until they reach your bottom. There they lay itchy little eggs. If you scratch your bum, the eggs will go under your fingernails. Sucking your thumb makes the eggs go back into your tummy, where they hatch into more worms again. Never scratch your bum and suck your thumb, said Dr. Dog. Ugh. Fiona Gumboil felt dizzy. It's all those cartwheels she's been turning, laughed her parents. Rubbish, growled Dr. Dog. She's got earache. There are tiny bones inside our ears that help us balance. Earache can affect these and make us dizzy. Dr. Dog gave her some pills. Grandad had been eating too many baked beans and drinking too much beer. He's got terrible wind, said Dr. Dog. Here's a picture of your inside tubes. Beer and baked beans make gases in your tummy. The only way they can escape is to blast out of your bottom. It's disgusting. Disgusting, Dr. Dog told Ma and Pa Gumboil. If you don't take better care of your family, there will be a serious accident. So what, said the Gumboils. We've got you to look after us, haven't we? Meanwhile, Grandad's dangerous gases were building up and... He's going to the loo. Bang! He farted so hard he blew the roof right off the house. Told you so, said Dr. Dog. Whee! Once the roof had been put back on and he'd made everyone better, Dr. Dog felt ill himself. You're suffering from stress, Dog, said his doctor. What you need is a holiday away from that pesky family. 
just what the doctor ordered, said Dr. Dog. They'll never find me here. Oh, no, said Dr. Dog. Cooey! Hi! Ooh, yo! Here we are!